this week, in synagogues all across the world, we'll be reading the Parsha of Miketz. And in this Parsha, our storyline, our narrative that we've been reading up until now takes a dramatic twist. And in that dramatic twist, we learn an unbelievable life lesson. Up until now, we've been learning the story of Joseph. Now, Joseph had it pretty bad. He was his father's favorite. He got the colorful coat. But he also kind of earned the, the disrespect of his brothers. They were mad at him. So what did they do? Well, like all brothers who were mad at, at another brother, they sold him into slavery. Joseph gets taken by a group of wandering Arabs down to Egypt. They sell him to the, to the, the head butcher in Egypt. And because of a certain twist of fate there, he ends up in jail. As low as you can go. Can you imagine? Not only do you start off as a slave, but then you end up in the, in the bowels of a prison pit, only to be brought up, to interpret the dream of Pharaoh, and in this week's Parsha, to become the, the second in command of the world's greatest superpower. The Pharaoh puts him in charge of everything. He says, Joseph, you do what you got to do. Sometimes it's hard to understand where life is taking us. It's hard to know. What, is, what, what does God want from me? Why did he put me in this situation? It's hard. How am I going to get through it? The story of Joseph teaches us that sometimes we don't always understand what's going on. Sometimes it seems like, like this difficulty has no point. Yet Joseph teaches us that we can dramatically change our lives. That sometimes the Almighty has a plan for us. He wants us to do great things. He wants us to change the world. All we have to do is keep going, keep pushing. At every opportunity, continue to try to do the right thing. To be the good person that we really want to be. Because at the end of the day, we'll look back and we'll smile. And we'll laugh. Because that thing, that situation that seemed so difficult, it seemed so hard that I couldn't understand, then I'll realize, oh, it had to be that way. You know, I remember when I didn't get into my first choice in college, I thought my life was over. I went into my room and I cried and I said, that's it. I'm not going to school. I'm not going to college. If I didn't get into number one, that's it. I look back and I laugh at that. Because if I, if I would have gotten into that school, I wouldn't have gone to the school that I ended up going to. And if I didn't go to the school I went to, I wouldn't have met all the wonderful people. My life wouldn't have taken the direction it did. I wouldn't be where I am right now. And I look around and I see my unbelievable wife, my beautiful children, my meaningful job, all of the students that I've been able to, to come into contact with. I love my life. Thank God, God had a plan for me. He knew that that wasn't the path, that I had to go somewhere else. So instead of Atlanta, I went to Indiana, and then, Baruch Hashem, my life turned out the way it is. Don't get down. Don't get down when things don't seem to be going your way. Understand that there's a purpose and a plan for everything. Learn from Joseph. Not to get down, because even in the deepest, darkest situations we find ourselves in, there's a point and a purpose. We can bring ourselves up. We can be those great people that we want to be, and we can change the world. Have a wonderful Shabbos, a great week, a fantastic rest of your Hanukkah. If you like the video, please click subscribe below.